Welcome to another episode of True Crime Documentary with your trusted host, Kishore. On a typical day, Haruka, a diligent student, messaged a friend of her journey home from class. Just another day in the life of Haruka, a young woman known for her dedication to her studies and her unwavering punctuality. Haruka was the type of person who never left a task unfinished or a schedule unattended. Her friends would often jest about how you could set your watch by Haruka's routine. Her day was always meticulously planned, from her morning jog to her late-night study sessions. After her classes, she would always text her friends about her plans, whether she was heading to the library to burn the midnight oil or merely going home to rest. That's why when she messaged her friend that she was on her way home from class, no one thought twice about it. It was Haruka being Haruka, reliable as ever. But what was supposed to be an ordinary day took an unexpected turn. Haruka, the girl who was never late, never out of place, suddenly was. Her friends waited for her at their usual study spot, glancing at their watches, exchanging puzzled looks. As the hours passed, her absence became more than just a curiosity. It was a deviation from the norm, a break in the rhythm that everyone had grown accustomed to. The night passed without Haruka's usual goodnight text, and the following morning her seat in the lecture hall remained conspicuously empty. Her friends tried reaching out to her, their messages and calls echoed back unanswered. The girl who was always there, always on time, was suddenly missing. This was not the Haruka they knew. This was out of character, out of routine, out of the ordinary. Her friends' confusion soon turned into concern. Was she sick? Had something happened to her? They tried shaking off the feeling of unease, hoping for a reasonable explanation. But as the day ended and there was still no sign of Haruka, the concern deepened. As the sun rose the next day without a glimpse of Haruka, a wave of concern began to permeate among her friends. Little did they know, their worry was the beginning of a harrowing journey that would lead to a chilling discovery. With Haruka's absence from class, worry turned into fear, instigating a search for her on and around campus. As the sun began to set, Haruka's friends initiated the first steps of the search. They retraced her usual routes, called out her name in the silent halls and knocked on every dorm room door. Their growing apprehension echoed in their hurried footsteps and strained voices. The university, soon alerted of her disappearance, extended help in the quest to find Haruka. The campus security, alongside the local police, joined the search, their presence escalating the gravity of the situation. The once vibrant campus was now shrouded in an eerie silence, the usual chatter replaced by hushed whispers of concern. The university grounds, once a familiar sanctuary, had turned into a vast, ominous labyrinth. Haruka's friends, classmates, and even strangers joined together, their collective fear and worry driving them to comb through every nook and cranny of the university. The local authorities expanded the search radius, venturing into the surrounding neighborhoods, parks, and local hangout spots. The community was on high alert. Fear and uncertainty gripped everyone, each passing hour intensifying the tension. The local media picked up the story, amplifying the sense of urgency and the chilling reality of Haruka's disappearance. Candlelight vigils were held, prayers were said, and flyers with Haruka's face flooded the city, a grim reminder of the ongoing search. The city was united in their hopes and fears for Haruka. The search was a testament to the bond of the community, the strength of friendship and the power of hope. Yet as each day passed with no sign of Haruka, the dread of what might have happened to her grew. The fear of the unknown hung heavily in the air, a chilling specter that haunted the hearts of everyone involved. The search parties tirelessly combed the campus, their determination undeterred by the growing dread. With every unchecked spot, the fear of what they might find intensified. The search was a race against time, a desperate attempt to uncover the truth behind Haruka's sudden disappearance. As the search parties combed the campus, a dreadful discovery was on the horizon. In the midst of the campus-wide search, a chilling revelation was made that led the search in a horrifying direction. The air hung heavy with a sense of dread, a gripping tension that seemed to permeate every corner of the campus. There was a shift in the atmosphere, a collective gasp, as the search party stumbled upon a sight that would forever be etched in their minds. A discovery so shocking it sent a wave of fear washing over the entire community. Yet out of respect for those involved and the sensitivity of the ongoing investigation, we must tread carefully around the specifics. Suffice it to say, what was unearthed that day was far from the hopeful outcome everyone had been praying for. As the grim reality sunk in, 
the investigation took a sharp turn. No longer was this a simple case of a missing student. It was now a race against time, a quest to uncover the truth behind this horrific discovery. The focus was no longer solely on finding Haruka. It was about seeking justice, about unmasking the sinister force that had turned their peaceful campus into a scene from a chilling crime thriller. The fear was palpable. The campus, once a haven for learning and camaraderie, was now shrouded in uncertainty and terror. Students clung together in fear, their jovial laughter replaced with hushed whispers and anxious glances. Professors, usually the pillars of strength and knowledge, seemed just as lost and afraid. The community was united, not by the joy of academia, but by the shared dread of the unknown. Yet, amidst this fear, there was a sense of resolve, a determination to not let this terrible discovery break them. To stand strong, to fight back, to ensure that the person responsible for this heinous act did not go unpunished. The search parties continued their work, their resolve hardened by the shocking discovery. Little did they know, this terrible discovery was just the beginning. As the investigation progressed, it began to point towards an individual whose disturbed state of mind sent shivers down everyone's spine. The circumstances were already dire, but they took an even darker turn when a certain individual came into focus. This person, who we'll refer to as the suspect, had been lurking in the shadows of the campus, seemingly unnoticed until now. The suspect had a history, a string of unsettling behaviors that painted a picture of a deeply troubled mind. A pattern of obsession, erratic behavior, and a chilling disregard for personal boundaries set the suspect apart from your average individual. The suspect's presence on campus during Haruka's disappearance was the initial red flag, but the evidence only piled up from there. Upon further investigation, it was found that Haruka and the suspect had crossed paths on several occasions. Unsettlingly, these weren't mere coincidences. The suspect had been purposefully inserting themselves into Haruka's life, a fact that was only revealed after her disappearance. As the pieces of the puzzle began to fall into place, it became clear that the suspect was more than just a person of interest. Their disturbing actions and behaviors were now at the center of the investigation. Each new revelation about the suspect only served to deepen the mystery and heighten the fear surrounding Haruka's disappearance. This individual's involvement marked a dark turn in the search for Haruka. The suspect's eerie presence had cast a long, ominous shadow over the investigation, and the quest to uncover the truth was far from over. The search for Haruka, which began with hope, ended in a way no one had anticipated. It had started as a desperate scramble to find a missing friend, a beloved classmate. The campus had transformed into a hive of activity, with search parties combing every inch. But as the days turned into weeks, the grim reality set in. Haruka was not coming back. The discovery of her fate sent shockwaves through the community. It was a tragedy that echoed in the silent hallways of the university, casting a long shadow of grief and fear. Haruka's friends grappled with the loss, their world irrevocably changed. The university, once a haven of learning and growth, had become the backdrop of a chilling crime. The disappearance of Haruka serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictability of life and the darkness that lurks in the most unlikely places.